All right, as we do every Tuesday, let's bring in our good friend, Miss Chief. Our articles come out in Main Street, Nashville, the Main Street, Nashville E-Edition. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Doing great. How about you? I'm doing quite well. Uh, did you have fun in the snow this weekend? Um, I love the snow. It was so pretty, but I just, I'm about ready for it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I have told the intern, January is just the worst month. There's nothing to look forward to. Not that happy. And the weather's awful. Let's just get rid of January. All right. Another great article this week. You took us around, you took us to Northwest Tennessee. Why is that? Well, Real Foot Lake State Park is one of the, it's one of those beautiful parks in the whole system. It's very different from the rest of the parks and it is way up in northwest Tennessee but it is where the e there, there are more eagles in that area than almost anywhere else and you can see eagles all over Tennessee this time of year around the lakes so even at Radnor Lake or Watts Bar or any of the Pickwick uh, you, there are a lot of lot of places you can see eagles but if you really want to see eagles that the Eagle Festival at Real Foot is the place to go. I had no idea. That's why I love your articles, Miss Chief. I had no idea that Real Foot Lake had that many active eagle nests that are going on up there. Well, you know, they do, and they have tours. That this All of this month and, and all of February, they have these tours that are $20 a person, and the ranger takes you either in a bus or a van uh, around to see the to see the, the eagles. And, you know, the you can go yourself and just drive around and probably see two or three eagles, an eagle's nest. But if you go with these rangers they know you know they know the eagles they know their habits and they know their nests and and sometimes they'll see they'll usually see 40 or more eagles sometimes as many uh, as 100 I, this this ranger i talked to warren douglas uh he grew up in that park his parents were both rangers and so he he knows it inside and out and i mean it's it's fascinating to talk to him about 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 the eagles themselves and about how they how they um how they nest and how they mate and i mean it's, it's just amazing I, I love it too because you talk about i had no idea there were 40 to 50 of those active eagles nests up there and it's crazy miss cheap when you see a body i've only seen one several times in my life but when you do it and people see that with you uh nobody says a word it's like they're just in this state of awe and that very rarely happens in our whole life well, that's true and and they really if you see one fly uh it's it's it is just beautiful the, the wingspan is huge and you know the, e the eagles are very predatory birds and you know in the beginning i think i think the 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 decision was to decide between the eagle and the turkey as the national symbol right and the, some people didn't like the eagle because it's so opportunistic that what they'll do is like if they see another uh another bird or, or some some other creature with a kill they'll come and take it away from them uh, you know it's 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 not like they kill their own food sometimes they sometimes will see somebody else and then come in and get the get the leftovers right well this is great because i was thinking why does real foot lake have so many eagles and that's one of the questions in your story and uh, the ranger said tennessee's home to one of the largest populations outside of alaska the eagles are attracted to the real foot area particularly in the winter because of the ready availability of food which is the same reason i live in donaldson because we have a lot of uh, <laughs> fast food restaurants around that's so interesting i had no idea with that well the the tours also take in the waterfowl that's there and so they're they're ducks and geese and all that and in the in the summer the eagles mostly eat fish but in the winter they they do uh feast on these other waterfowl and so you can see really hundreds of thousands of other waterfowl and these tours you know the the the, the rangers will give you the history of the lake which in itself is a pretty interesting story um they'll also tell you about the the cultural history of that part of the state um as well as uh, lots of interesting facts about the eagles you know also what i've learned talking to you you really want us to take advantage not in a bad way but a good way of these rangers you say when you go to these parks these hikes get with the ranger get the tours because they know so more, much more information than you get off some silly wikipedia page right and you know these eagle tours they take place every day seven days a week between now and the end of february but the time to really go if you want to say the the ramped up version of all this is, is the weekend of february 4th and that's eagle fest weekend and sometimes they have as many as eight to ten thousand people come for that um and even last year with the with covid they had i think five thousand people showed up wow. but it's you know that's the time to go because they have these raptor programs and they have demonstrations and they have kids crafts and all that but 
again, if you don't want to deal with a crowd like that, uh, you might just go one of these other days, go on a weekday during, you know, this, this week or sometime later in February, and you can still take the tour, same tour, um, just with fewer people. And I th for me, that would almost be preferable. <laughs> oh, I, I, I totally agree with that. Uh, also, when you do this, uh, plan to spend a whole day, right? It's three hours from Nashville. I mean, it's it's a it's it's a haul up there, um, but so you can make it as a day trip. Um, but there are there are options for staying over. There are a lot of Airbnbs, and there's a, there's camping, and there are cabins, um, and there's some great places to eat. One of the ones that when I went there last was is Boyette's, and it's been in business. We get this since 1921, and they serve up. Uh, it's right across from the visitor center uh, for, at, at the at the Wilfoot Park, um, and they serve up catfish country ham, fried chicken, uh, you know, just things you would expect to get at a lake front place and very reasonable and you know of course i like that right, absolutely you know also real foot lake with the history created by the earthquake back in the 1800s i mean there's a lot to see more than just going to see the bald eagles which are beautiful but there's a lot of real foot lake that you can enjoy there is and you know it, it right now the they're still dealing with a lot of the damage from the tornado um two of the two or three of their air areas of, of along the lake um as well as some of the residential areas near there uh, in tiptonville were were wiped out by this tornado in December. Um, the, the, the visitor center didn't sustain any damage, but some of the, the one of the restaurants and one of the, the um, motels just is, is wiped out. So I, I think, you know, going this time, I would make sure you make a reservation for the tour. I'd also, if you're planning to stay overnight, to plan that ahead because, you know, it might be a little bit more limited. But it's it's definitely worth a trip. And, it's it, you know, we do have such wonderful state parks, and this is one of the most unique. I mean, it's it's got the, the cypress trees all into in the in the, in the water and in the other parts of the year, the summer, there are pontoon cruises and kayak rentals and those kind of things, too. And you can still see some eagles then, too. It's not just the migratory eagles. I love it. And also, uh, with this happening, I mean, it's a good a chance to get away, good escape, good times. What I like about your article, Ms. Cheap, is you have all the links in there to the park, to things that are happening up there. So it's just not like a blind article, go look for yourself. You have those links. And I love that you do that every week with your stories. Well, thanks. I try to give people as much information so that they can take advantage of these things. And one of the things that the ranger told me is if you come to bring your own binoculars, that if you really want to see the eagles, that they have some binoculars and telescopes to share around. But, you know, if you bring your own, then you're going to be more likely to get an up-close view of these beautiful birds. And, you know, the nests are pretty amazing themselves. They, they, he said that, that two of the nests were destroyed by the tornado, oh. and one of them, the eagles have already rebuilt which is, you know, they're huge. Some of these things are like eight feet wide. <laughs> I need to have them around my house. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> that's then. Right. All right, Ms. Cheap, thank you again for the article. Again, it comes out today in the E-Edition of Main Street Nashville. And for tips, they should email you at? It's Ms. Cheap at MainStreetMediaTN.com. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Stay cheap. There we go. Miss Cheap, that's fantastic. Love her articles each and every Tuesday here. And she joined us on Mornings on Main Street.